Hi, careers guy here, and the buzzword at the moment is research. Do your own research. This is going to give you an opportunity to talk about a job the careers advisors and careers coaches don't very often talk about, and that is as a professional researcher, or more uh, appropriately, an academic. Their jobs right now are probably the most important thing going around a, a professional researcher. And when a professional researcher researches something, they are subject to something that is so important, and that is called research scrutiny. And it's worth knowing, for everyone who doesn't know anything about how research is undertaken, why this is so important. And because of research scrutiny, we can say with 100% crystal clear clarity that something like vaccines are safe, that climate change is real, and that science is reliable and methodical. Now it's weird that universities spend so much time promoting coming to university to young people, but don't really ever say come and work at a university. Universities employ thousands and thousands of people, and the most plum jobs within a university is that as an, of an academic or professional researcher. I guess they sort of figure, come to university, do a bit of study, see the academics there, and then perhaps you can review that as a career choice later on, but it's a le legit good job. These are the lecturers and the tutors that run the classes, the roles are well paid, they have great conditions, and they have the air of authority, which everybody likes in life. Now, outside of the delivery of university classes and all of the marking of papers, there is an unseen part of this job, and that is professional research. You see, universities are arbiters of knowledge, the highest arbiters of knowledge in the land, and they have a philosophical requirement to provide benefit to society by sharing this knowledge. Academics, researchers have largely been squirreled away on campus, becoming experts in a very particular and very finite field. And to maintain these great jobs that they have on high pay and good conditions, known as tenure, they are professionally obligated to share their expertise as a paperwork for the taxpayer funding the universities receive, and if they don't, that's it. Their tenure is not continued. They're out of a job. And they do this by undertaking research and publishing the results of that research in academic journals, which anybody can read. Now, this research is only considered to be worthy of publishing with the world around it if it follows a very specific path. Now, this path is, and this is where it becomes important about vaccines, the academic usually has to come up with something that needs to be studied. Now, hold that thought. It's usually some sort of claim. In the case of vaccines, it is, this vaccine is safe to use. Now, as an important intervention, most academics aren't that creative and coming up with what they're going to study can be the hardest part of the job. Now, companies know this. And a company like Pfizer or AstraZeneca will say, look, we've got this vaccine. We want it tested to know how safe it is. They give it to the university and it's a project on a platter for them. The, the next step is... The academic reads every single thing ever written about that topic. They become an expert in how vaccines are created or climate change or whatever. They learn every single thing about it. They then test their hypothesis or test their claim in an objective environment by running tests on either guinea pigs or people or it's an objective environment. And they basically say, if they do this, this will happen. They form an opinion based on their results. We put this vaccine into so many people's arms and these were the results. They then write a paper outlining what they did, how they did it, and what they say. Now the important point follows up. They then submit this work to other more senior academics who have done research before to see if it stacks up. This is scrutiny, and it is called peer-reviewed research, and it is the best research that we as society have. Only when it passes this test is it able to be published and the academic keeps their office. So this means that in the fields of vaccine and climate change, which have been professionally researched and peer-reviewed by experts, the public information we have is absolutely, without doubt, the best. It is important to point out, too, that YouTube videos, Google, Facebook, personal experience, I mean, everybody's got an opinion about a vaccine, everyone's been encouraged to take it, and everyone's got an opinion about the weather. None of that has any weight because it has not been subject to the same level of scrutiny. Now, I know that skeptics are going to say, well, this is a bunch of academics being marked by another bunch of academics. This is a love-in. They just want to get it through so that they can keep their jobs. And I understand that as a logical assertion. However, it's not true in the same way that soccer players don't let other soccer players score goals just because they're soccer players. They run defense, and that's a big part of their game. 
Now, academics pride themselves on the robustness of their marking and they love knocking holes in the research and knocking things back. So just like it's hard for a good player to score a goal in a World Cup final against the best teams in the world, it's hard to get this research signed off. Now this doesn't mean that research doesn't evolve or is perfect. Things can and do um, get uncovered down the line. However, until these things that are uncovered down the line are subject to the same methods of scrutiny, they are subject to experts reviewing the methods of research and the results by other experts that is weaker than what we have now. And so that allows us, what these professional researchers do, allow us to say with certainty certain things. And I think this has been forgotten in the world. So we can say vaccines are safe and climate change is real. And until someone comes out with a peer-reviewed, journal-written piece of scrutinized research that says otherwise, that is simply the truth. And if you want to become a university academic, you've got to go to uni first and you've got to be good at it. And then they may offer you a job, they may not. But you don't keep that job without doing that peer-reviewed research. Thanks very much.